Hello, Erin. So, how old were you when you started dancing? I was three years old when I started dancing. My mother took me to a little uh, dance class. Actually, it was my brother. He was he was doing dance, funnily enough. And uh, apparently, I wouldn't sit st- sit still in my pushchair. <laughs> so uh, they released they released the strength, and I got out and I started dancing. <laughs> so. Uh, not not that many years ago, obviously. Um, but yes, I was three. <laughs> so, because I, I saw that on an internet site I looked at, but I didn't believe three years old. Well, it wasn't a serious dance class. It was just, you know how you, you take young kids to, to a, a, you know, a class? And I think I was a fairy and a Christmas tree and stuff like that. It was just a fun class uh, that I used to go to once a week. And uh, it wasn't even ballroom dancing. Um, it was just us sort of dancing around the room, uh, being happy, really. I, I did uh, do it a bit more serious when I got a little bit older. And I used to dance a couple of days a week and uh, do the odd competition here and there. But I really didn't take it that seriously until I was about 15 years old. And, uh, I mean, I did all sports. I did swimming and gymnastics and jazz ballet and uh, football, believe it or not, and uh, hockey. And, I mean, I did it all. But ballroom dancing was what I wanted to do. And I decided that when I was 15. You have been a professional dancer on Strictly Come Dancing for all seven series. Eight series. Including this one, eight series now. Yes, I, I, I'm the only female left to have done all eight series, and Anton and I are the only couple left. Uh, it has been the most wonderful eight years. Uh, I can't begin to tell you. I've met wonderful people and had great experiences. And to, to, to be perfectly honest, I can't imagine my life, number one, without dancing in it, and number two, without Strictly. Uh, it, is, it is such a great show to be a part of and a, and a great honour. Um, who has been your favourite contestant to work with? Oh, well, you can't say... I can't say <laughs> that to, to the nation. I mean, I've had some wonderful people. I mean, I've had Martin O'Fire, Julian Clary, Colin Jackson, Willie Thorne, Peter Schmeichel, Austin Healy, uh, Ricky Groves, uh, and now, of course, the wonderful Peter Shilton. Um, I've had some wonderful people to work with, and to be honest with you, um, I wouldn't have traded any of them with anybody else. Uh, still great friends with all of them. Even Peter Schmeichel, I left him out, another goalkeeper. Um, uh, you know, I've been very, very lucky. Sometimes the judges can be harsh with their comments. Yes. Have, have there ever been times where after the show you've gone up to them and say, look, I think you're out of order with what you said then? Um, yes, a little, I guess. I don't mind them being harsh. I don't like them getting personal. When they get personal, um, it, it's pretty hard for, for my celebrity to take. And also, I have to sort of pick it up uh, the day after, you know, when they're feeling really bad. I have to go and pick up the pieces, I guess, and put them back into place, and, and we start again. Um, Craig has said a couple of personal comments. That's just Craig. But uh, as long as it's constructive, then I don't mind. And sometimes, to be really honest with you, sometimes you know you've got out there and as a couple you've done a bad performance and then you've got to walk over and stand by Bruce and you know something's going to come out of those judges' mouths that you don't like. But sometimes you have to stand there and take it and think, OK, we're just going to have to start again. If we get through, start again next week and uh, hopefully come out with a bit of performance. How long have you and Anton de Beck been working together? Since 1997. Uh, so, what's that, uh, 15 years, 13 years, 13 years this year, uh, I think about 13 and a half years we've been dancing together. We, uh, when I came over to this country 14 and a half years ago from, uh, from New Zealand, uh, I was a trained dancer, but I was wanting more. And after about a year, uh, when I got here, I, I dumped the partner I was with. That sounds harsh, doesn't it? But he preferred to be at the pub rather than in the dance studio. So I got rid of him, and uh, Anton was there, and uh, we started dancing together, and, yeah, that was 13 and a half years ago. We've had a great career together, many, many happy memories, and, you know, we won many titles, and we've travelled the world representing England, uh, and we're still together today. A couple of months ago, I interviewed Camilla Dullerup. Is that someone you know very well? Camilla? Yeah. Yes, very well, yes. Uh, she came to my wedding. I went to her wedding this year. Uh, very, very good friends. So, um, your dance partner for this series of Strictly Come Dancing is Peter Shilton. Yes. Who I just spoke to. How are you finding working with him? I love working with Peter. He's such a nice guy. 
but um, he, you know he works hard he's got a great mentality uh, he's a sportsman so you know that sort of going to the studio for quite a few hours a day he has no problem with he, he works up a good sweat we've got one problem that's called nerves now the show uh, you know obviously tomorrow night we are we are dancing tomorrow night and he's got to go out there and he's got to do a waltz we had rehearsals yesterday in the BBC studio on set on the dance floor and he sort of fell to pieces now I'm hoping he can overcome that and I, it's not just Peter I mean a lot of them do it they go in there and there's different surroundings and there's people watching them and bless him he sort of couldn't remember his routine now what's going to happen <laughs> if that <laughs> happens tomorrow night live in front of the nation in front of millions of people and he goes blank on the floor um, so that's my worst fear for tomorrow night. I've got to be perfectly honest with you. So we're going to try and overcome that today, if we can. Well, that must be, you know, because they're out of their comfort zone doing something they've never done before, so prob they're probably all nervous. But do you think on the night Peter will get it right? Uh, I'm hoping so. I don't really care what other couples do. I don't care if they get it wrong. Actually, it's better if they do. That sounds good, <laughs> doesn't it? I mean, I'm wanting them all to succeed. But my thought tomorrow night is Peter Shulton and getting him through his routine and hopefully he'll enjoy it. Um, I can't begin to tell you how much nerves you get on that floor knowing that the nation is watching you and Peter, you know, he's a goalkeeper. He's never gone out and done ballroom dancing in, in front of the nation before and he's got to go out there for a minute 30, a minute 39, our track is, and he's got to dance a beautiful waltz. Now in the dance studio, when no one's watching, we've been practicing, he's been wonderful but it's different when you're in front of you know the cameras and the studio audience and the judges are there watching you it's really nerve-wracking um but hopefully fingers crossed he's going to pull it off tomorrow night and if he doesn't um uh, well we'll just have to make it up erin it's been fantastic speaking to you today and good luck with this series of strictly come dancing thank you very very much nice speaking to you too thank you very much thank bye you.